Hi folks, this is Nancy from Paper Moon Tarot, and I just wanted to do a quick video with what I consider my happy decks, decks that just make me smile when I look at them, uh, figuring we could all use a good smile this February. Uh, and I want to start with the Isidore Tarot. This is a fun little indie deck by Bethelyn Bajima. And it's based on artwork of J.J. Granville, the French illustrator. A lot of strange, unusual combinations here. Um, you'll see our fool is a rabbit, and he has some sort of human dog. <laughs> I don't know. And a mask and a moon. Uh, just wonderful collection of fun, whimsical elements in these cards. This fella is flying through the air with his scales and the six of coins. And there's some kind of creature down there. But I love these cards. They just make me really smile. I'm trying out a new camera here, so hopefully it'll focus, find its way to focus. Uh, the lovers are two cats standing on a podium with a cat angel behind them and the fella in the chair who seems to be part of the chair. This lady's having a lot of fun. She's the star. And that reminds me of uh, Jemima Puddle Duck, uh, Beatrix Potter character from old, old children's books. Um, way before my time, of course. But this is all sort of of an era where the art is fun and I, I, I guess Victorian. I'd have to double check my research on that. Um, but awful fun deck. I highly recommend it. It comes in a pretty plain, simple box with a sticker on it. And the cardstock is adequate, maybe not quite up to U.S. game stock, but getting there, close to that. So that's the Isidore Tarot. Very fun deck. Now, my next fun deck I just got. It is from Fournier, which is a Spanish publisher of tarot decks and playing cards mainly. See, I have to get it right side up for this camera. I'm learning. And this is by Amaya Arizola. And these are just wonderful, wonderful cards. Um, colorful, fun. Our King of Pentacles is an elephant. And our Queen of Pentacles is a bearded man who appears to have be pregnant with a pentacle moon in her stomach. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a deck that really makes you laugh at what's going on. The, this knight is on a, uh, is it a pogo stick? Not a, or a, a stick horse. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> There's our Ten of Pentacles with a rainbow and our Nine of Pentacles with a spaceship. The colors are just so much fun in this. Even the Three of Swords doesn't bother me much. And there's our Four of Swords too. Get away from the swords to the even more fun stuff. I love the Seven of Pentacles, and it's a dinosaur, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what these creatures are. This lady, going back to the swords for a second, has uh, swords in her hairdo. And the Seven of Swords is a bee pulling swords out of honeysuckle. Anyway, this is an awfully fun deck. I really recommend it. The cardstock is um, 
it's kind of flexible. It's a it's a coated card stock. So it, it almost feels plasticky, almost like playing cards. Um, it's come on, focus camera. Anyway, it's a decent card stock. It's a slightly smaller deck than a typical tarot deck. Um, these are the backs of the cards. And again, it's called the Magic Tarot. You can get that on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. And uh, it's not very expensive at all. But I just, I fell in love with it when I saw it on somebody's channel online. And I said, well, you know, not that expensive, happy and fun. So I very strongly recommend this if you just need a fun little deck. And a, as I say, smaller than tarot size, so so pretty portable. So that's the Magic Tarot. Another fun deck is the Rabbit Tarot. I don't know where my box went. I have my box somewhere. It's just a simple little tuck box. And I will put the uh, link to get it and the artist's name below. I think it's Nakisha. Everything Rabbit. And just actually pretty little watercolors. It's it's really a pretty little deck for the art. Just another deck that makes me happy when I pull it out. Okay, that's the Rabbit Tarot. I have one in a tin that I think is fun just because it's sort of a whimsical, colorful Marseille deck. And that's the Tarot de Maria Celia. And that's from US Games in a tin. I love my tin decks. The art, the characters, the, the sunbursts and so forth are just a lot of fun. It's really a sweet little deck. And again, a smaller deck. So easy to carry around. But look at the colors in the Fool. They're just so bright, those purples. The whole deck has that, those kinds of colors. They're just beautiful. And there's our little star lady. And the people are kind of small and fun. So the Tarot of Maria Celia. I think is just a happy, fun Marseille style deck and kind of a fun way to cut your teeth on Marseille if uh, you haven't used Marseille before because I think the pips are, are pretty and the colors are beautiful and the characters can be kind of fun looking. I love that Ace of Cups. And look at that Three of Swords. Just all the colors going on there. So that's the Tarot of Maria Celia. Again, I'll put a link down below. It's uh, Jim Narcissio is the artist. I'm sorry, Leonard Narcissio. Leonard Jim Narcissio, no wonder. Actually, there is one more. And that is the Fay Tarot which is, I believe, a Los Scarabeo deck. I'm 
little fairy style characters. Again, some, some bright colors. I think colors sort of really add to a happy deck. Here's the box for the Fey Tarot. It's an older deck, so you but you can find it quite easily. I like the lady riding a bird, I guess, on the Knight of Wands. This one's fun. The Hermit. It's like he's climbing some Escher type stairs that go in different directions. And the cat's upside down and I don't know if um, that's a bird. Anyway, everything's all cattywampus. And there's a lizard on the stairs going the other direction. So just a fun deck. And um, again, it's a low scarabeo. It's not very expensive. If you want to do readings for children, or you just want a lighter mood in your readings, or you just want to read for yourself and, and have some fun decks, I recommend all five of these, and I thank you for joining me. Bye.